You gotta be really careful when you fight this guy, bro. Goki's playing a grand blue deck, which means he'll be trying to- If you can't keep quiet, then I'll make you walk the plank. Hmm. I appreciate you wanting to help and everything, but I'm gonna have to fight this battle on my own. Regionals are right around the corner, and I need to know that I can beat someone at his level. Hmm. Counting on you, bro. Don't let me down. Kamui will be yours forever after this! What you really need to do is chain him up in the shop so he can't run away anymore. I can't believe I get to play against someone that went to nationals last year. Better try my best. I'm not gonna let anyone get in the way of my sister's happiness. <sighs> Here we go. Stand up, up my vanguard! vanguard! Zombie, stand up! So this is what a unit from a Grand Blue deck looks like. Kind of creepy, but nothing I can't handle. You're first, you little boyfriend stealer. Seriously? I ride Wingall. Using Bark Gall's ability, I move it back to the rear guard circle. Then I'll activate Bark Gall's other ability to call Flogel from my deck. I end my turn. All right, I ride Dandy Guy, Romario! <laughs> Next, I use Guiding Zombie's skill to move him over. That's the same ability I just used. Next, I call Dancing Cutlass to battle. Dancing Cutlass supports Guiding Zombie and attacks your Wingall! <laughs> Checking damage trigger. Now Romario attacks your vanguard! <laughs> Checking for drive trigger. Come on, give me a trigger. Kill trigger activated. That's 5,000 power to Wingall. And I recover one damage. It's time for me to take my next turn. Stand up, my avatar! Why? Blaster Blade! I move Flogel forward, and then I call Morgana and two copies of Little Sage Marin. With support from Marin, I send in Flogel, attacking your vanguard! Doing a damage check. I continue the assault with Blaster Blade, supported by Barco. Drive check. Uh... You need something? Ugh. I'm not done. Here comes Morgana, supported by Mary. Uh... I'll have Jappy the Ghosty guard that. I activate Chaffee's defensive skill to remove Captain Nightmist from my deck and put him in the drop zone. Why would he want to throw a grade two unit away like that? Hmm. That's going to be the end of my turn. The scariest thing about playing against a Grand Blue deck is the drop zone. I stand and draw. I ride Captain Nightmist. And his ability states that when Captain Nightmist is in the Vanguard circle, if there's another Nightmist in the drop zone, then my Vanguard gains an additional 3,000 power bonus. So that's why he did that last turn. Not only is he a good player, but his deck has incredible synergy. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> I stand and draw. <clears throat> Enter the fray! Kneel before your king! I ride King of Knights, Alfred! Nice. I retire Flogel to the drop zone and replace her with the Knight of Silence, Galatine! Captain Nightmist is about to feel the power of Galatine, supported by Merit. 
Checking damage trigger. Trigger activated. That'll be 5,000 power to Night Mist. In that case, Alfred will show you the united power of the Royal Paladins. Attacking Captain Night Mist! Checking Twin Drive. Damage trigger check. Ugh. Lastly, Morgana will attack your vanguard supported by Marin. I defend with Ruin Shade. <laughs> the abomination of flesh and metal. You'll come to know him as Monster Frank. Guiding zombie and dancing cutlass switch places. <laughs> Using Captain Nightmist's counter blast from the drop zone. Pirates may die, but they're never gone. You can activate their abilities out of the drop zone? There's no way Aichi's gonna win this now that Goki set up his big finisher. The unstoppable pirates. This legion of undead units will keep coming back to haunt you until they finish the job for good. Your royal paladins are completely outclassed by my Grand Blue. With the help of Evil Shade, I'll have Monster Frank attack Alfred. Destroy! I activate Evil Shade's skill. <laughs> by moving two cards from my deck to the drop zone, I increase Frank's attack power by 4,000. <sighs> I'm not gonna guard. Twin drive! Check for damage trigger. Captain Nightmare supported by Guiding Zombie! Blue Blood attacks! I guard with Baron! No way! He can do the exact same thing next turn! If I don't finish him here, he's gonna run right over me! Here I go! I stand and draw! I attack with Morgana, supported by Marin. Morgana's skill allows me to send one card from my hand to the drop zone. She gains an additional 4,000 power until the end of the turn. Damage trigger check. The King of Knights charges in! Gustin will guard that attack. I activate his skill by sending a card from my hand to the drop zone. Stopping your king in his tracks. The attack fails, but I still have the twin drive. Oh, looks like I just scored a critical trigger. I'm giving all effects to Galatine, and he's gonna attack Monster Frank with support from Marin. I guard with Cutlass and Ruin Shade. Oh no, I'm out of cards. Yes, this attack is going through. You don't honestly think I'd let it end like that. Captain Night Mist intercepts! <laughs> my defense too much for ya? You just stopped two of my most powerful attacks like they were nothing. Guess this is it. <sighs> huh? That'll be the end of my turn. Wait, you mean you're not giving up? Right. You lost Captain Nightmist and you don't have any cards in your hand right now. That means your attack isn't gonna be at full strength, which gives me the opportunity to defend and take control of this game again. Aichi, it's amazing that you never back down from a challenge, but I'm pretty sure you're about to lose. This fight was over the moment your last attack failed. Huh? This will be my final turn. I call Jin! I told you before that pirates may die, but they're never gone. Captain Night Mist! Counter Blast activated! Resurrection! You're using that ability again? Blue Blood attacks Alfred! Morgana will defend that! Two more to go. And that's where you're wrong! My Grand Blue deck can always get more powerful by sacrificing it to the murky depths of the drop zone! Monster Frank, supported by Evil Shade, attacks Alfred! Activating Evil Shade's skill! 
giving an extra 4,000 power to Monster Frank. In that case, I'll send Future Knight Lou and Wingall to the Guardian Circle. Twin Drive check. First check. Second check. Mm. Critical trigger! Monster Frank just got too big for you to stop. <laughs> If I don't draw a heel trigger here, I lose the game. Hmm. You beat me. 